Well, hello there. On this beautiful north floor today without a cloud in the sky, we are going to take a look at the Eastport. The Eastport is built as a model built by ICI Homes, and this one is in their community of Seven Pines. ICI is a semi-custom builder, so you can take things, you can add things, you can kind of make it yours. But typically this home comes with four bedrooms, three bathrooms, a two-car garage, and just under 2,500 heated square feet. Let's go inside and take a look. So one of the advantages of having a rear loading home, so this is the front a little closer. You notice the garage isn't here, it's in the back. Well, who cares? Well, it does two things. You don't get as much of a private backyard, which we'll take a look at that here in a second. But what you do get is a larger front patio. So usually homes with the garage in the front, if there's like a front sitting area, it's teeny tiny. It's mainly there for cosmetic purposes. But this one actually has a decent, actually a two-story one. So take a look. There you go. All right. On that happy note, let's go inside. All right. So again, ICI is a semi-custom builder. So if there's anything here you don't like, you could probably change it uh, within reason. So here you go, you've got a full bathroom when you first walk in. And then to the right, you have a full bedroom. They have it, oh, that's kind of neat looking, check that out. Let's get this little, uh, looks like a screw on the back of a ship. Cool. And this is a full bedroom, even though they did it as a, kind of like a closet, because it has a closet, so. They did it up as like a home office slash um, bedroom. Oh wow, cool. All right, so if you make a right, you have an under the, uh... they did, okay, so this is usually a, this is under the staircase. And normally it's a closet, but what they did with it is they turned it into a kid's playroom. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Well, basically they just put some, uh, they put lighting and some little couch cushions and uh, great expectations, Moby Dick. Okay. So very interesting. It's one way to jazz up an under the closet uh, area. And then let's go this way and see what we got. Okay, so we are in the owner's retreat, or the master bedroom. It is in the front of the house. Oh wow, look at that. So to give you an idea of the size of this room, this bed right here is a full king size bed. Okay. Straight ahead is the restroom, but we're, excuse me, the bathroom. But before we go in there, take a look at the closet. Yeah, those are kind of nice. You didn't used to see them, um, the drywall area. That's for like what you see there. It's more yeah. secure than regular shelving. So that's where you could put like luggage or heavier stuff. So this one only, looks like it only has one, uh, one closet. So you, you would have to share it with your significant other. Okay, it's kind of neat. It's a different color. And then, there you go. There is your water closet. So the high ceilings. So that is the master retreat. Let's move on. Okay, oh, that's beautiful. All right, let's kind of show you what I'm looking at here. So you've got the stairs that go on upstairs. And this is the living area. You've got a lot of windows which are great because you get a lot of good natural light. And over here is a kitchen. So what are your thoughts? Throw them in the comment down below. I'd be kind of curious to hear them. Cool. You've got your pantry right here. I'm gonna kind of show you the view from the kitchen. So you've got your dining area. Now I always save the, uh, the outdoor living area for last, so that's what we'll do. All right, so you've got your mud room. So I think this is where people up north where they would hang all their jackets and stuff like that. Here, it's usually just backpacks. So 
Obviously, we have a few cold days a year, but not like you uh, have up north. Cool. There's your laundry room. Just a basic laundry room, although super cool flooring. All right, let's keep going. All right, so this is the garage. All right, nothing fancy here. They use this for their other homes too. Just a normal two car garage. Oh, and I get a lot of questions uh, on this. Over there is the, um, that is how you control, uh, what do you call it, the, the irrigation system. So for outside, so yeah, your home will come with uh, sprinkler systems and stuff like that. And that's where you control it from. Now there's two staircases in this home. I believe it has a suite over the garage. So let's go check that out. Okay, so this is something you can add on. It's got a kitchenette, not a full kitchen, obviously. It's a uh, AC closet and then a full bathroom. Okay, and then you've got, they did it up as a kid's homework area. And then over here, you got like an art studio. That's kind of neat. I guess that's what artists do. The artwork there and paint. This area, you don't have to get it, but what a lot of people do is I've seen, this one is done as like an art studio slash kid's homework area, but I've seen like home offices so if you want one that's still in the residence, but separated from the rest of the house, so you're not getting the distractions, this could be a good option. Also, if you have, let's say adult children or in-laws or parents or stuff like that, where they're gonna come down and live with you seasonally or you know whatever. So that way they have like their own little area that's sort of detached from the house. This is popular with that as well. So, all right, let's move on. All right, so remember, so far downstairs, we've seen the master and the uh, secondary bedroom. So let's see what we got up here. Okay, nice. So we've got a landing up here with two bedrooms and a bathroom and an outdoor balcony. We'll check that out in a second. Yeah, this is a full bedroom. It's got a uh, closet here. And between the two bedrooms, you have a full bathroom. And now we have another bedroom. Okay, that one's got a walk-in closet. Can't be too big, because that would be cutting into the bathroom. Let's go take a look. Okay, well, it's a good size for a secondary bedroom. All right. Now, let's take a look here. Oh, that's beautiful, look at that. I told you it was a beautiful day today. So here's the view. Now the amenity center is gonna be over that way. So on our sister channel, on this channel, all we do is model home tours. So if that's all you're interested in, great, check it out, stay here. But if you're interested in moving to uh, Northeast Florida, then check out our other channel, because in addition to model tours, we talk about lots of other things. Um, for instance, I did a video on like this home, which has a rear loading garage, as opposed to a front loading, you know, what are the pros and cons, that sort of thing. Uh, we toured the amenities that are coming in Seven Pines, uh, talked about the buildings, like commercial buildings and such that are coming. So the other channels where we do all that stuff. So be sure to check that out too. Now, last but not least, let's check out the outdoor living area here. Cool. 
And then it kind of goes around to the uh, where the garage is. And then you've got this side yard. Okay, so what did you think? Um, yeah, if you uh, have any questions, go ahead and throw them down below. I'd love to chat about it. Also, if you're looking to make a smooth transition, maybe you already live in Northeast Florida, or maybe you live somewhere else, you're looking to make a transition here, either myself or my team of realtors would love to help you. You can give us a call, shoot us a text, whatever works best for you. Uh, other than that, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more model tours, uh, be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. My name is Andrew Michael. I appreciate your time and I look forward to meeting you in person. Take care.